That's not English. This program contains graphic themes of self-harm, suicide, and inadvisable quantities of tentacles. Viewer discretion is advised. Hold up. Aka baka. Sucker for love. First date. I was going to wonder if there's supposed to be f visuals for a second there, but yes, there are. Well, I've committed to this, haven't I? Morning. I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 2.30 in the PM, and you're watching The Foreman. I'm Foreman. And welcome to the Valentine's Day special. If it sounded like a Foreman talks, well, then all of this would have been pointless. But I thought I'd do something different. A little different. Kind of different. This is different. It's very different, actually. It's excessively different. It says, on the one hand, it's like a meme weird, definitely weird, uh, dating game, and then it also said like, oh, by the way, there's tons of horror elements, or is there? We don't know, and I'm like, are you setting me up for some bullshit because I don't feel like it, but it's Valentine's Day, I thought we'd do something nice, it's a special time of year, let's give it a go, new, new date, good, I'm ready to hook me some fish ladies, wait, do I pick the date, oh no, I need to, um, I do one, then the other, <laughs> if I'm lucky. Let's try you then, ma'am. Yeah. I don't like that it said survive. Chapter 1, Lynetta, my Ryla scary girlfriend. Ah, puns. Chapter 1, Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. Oh, that's how that's pronounced. Also, I don't need to talk as much because there's voice acting. Okay. What do you got for me? Titties? I hope so. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding to merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today the stars are aligned. Whoops. Bollocks. Shit. Couldn't it be tomorrow? Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I have peculiar tastes. I have I have a knife. I have a turtle. That's nice. Hold on, there's shading. There's like a shadow on my cursor, which implies I would use this to look. Okay, I have a pentagram. Cool. I don't know who Candyman is. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. So the modern day eldritch cultist summoner is in fact just a fucking weeaboo, huh? I better wash my face to calm down. I guess- Oh. A year ago I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me, Keith. Lynetta, ever since I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. I'm addicted to stuff and spending recklessly. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? I'd fucking hope so. Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance to D. My name is D. Not a vampire hunter, I assume. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal was a little embarrassing, but as of today... As of today, I'll have a genuine genuine Necronomicon. I'd like that's an it's a genuine Necronomicon, not THE Necronomicon. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. As one does. Finally, I'll... I looks like Sign Cat Catherine, I gotta admit. It just straight up looks like something that'd be in Catherine. Oh, the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. You ordered it online, you fucking bellend. What do you expect? No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be a fake. Well, more the fool you, I suppose. Great. No way I'm getting my money back, either. The scammer is probably long gone, too. Damn it, I need a new ho- You really do need a new hobby. Anything else. Play with your turtle. 
It's a better hobby than this. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? Throw some neon blue in there and you got the channel colors, so I don't know what you're complaining about. Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt in gold, too. And this weight. Why they make a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer, that's probably just the delivery confirmation. Your computer didn't do anything. There's literally nothing on the screen. I'm looking at it. There's nothing there. For sure. Delayed. Arriving tomorrow. 100% real, real Necronomicon. Not clickbait, not scam. Gone sexual. <laughs> delayed. Arriving tomorrow. Wait, my order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom. Rillian. The unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? I believe that's going to be the theme for the entire game, isn't it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Why not? What, what could go wrong? Perform the cooling ritual. Well, hold on there. I have a turtle now. I have a knife as well. I have a face mask. Turn that off. Remove that because it's embarrassing. Uh-huh. Bathroom. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, I can do these things. I'm in here now. Wear that as well. Good. I still have my turtle. Good. Oh, I bet it's a puzzle, isn't it? I actually have to do certain things. Close that, I assume. Wear that. Okay, yes, good. I'm wearing my bathrobe and a Cthulian mask. Very good. Okay, great. I'm doing all of this without even actually knowing what I'm supposed to be doing with it, but that's fine. I went in the bathroom. I just go outside. I went outside. Okay. Back in my house. Alright, let's actually have a look at this. Um... Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. In the dark light, red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant Lunetta Afdart El Uh, okay. Click and drag from the first letter to the end of the phase to chant slowly. It certainly is a book. Never leave the lights off. Her name, her name, her name. Do not cover your ears, you will need them. Nothing is just your imagination. So don't cover my ears. Her name... Lynetta, I think. Okay. Never leave the lights off. Milk and eggs. No, I want them. <laughs> you never know when I might need them. Okay. I assume I'm good to go. I can't make it any more dark than it is. Right, yes, I'm doing it. Fucking hi. How's it going? Mortal. Yeah, that's me. Oh god, it actually worked. She's here? And the titty ratio is not nearly as high as I was hoping. A beacon of madness is towering over me, an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity, and oh no, she's hot. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Starspawn and brought about the end of reality? To get my dick wet? 
I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread. Choking terror. My very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. I still need to finish the Ruinous series. D D Dark one, I ask that you grab my wish. Oh, this will be good. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. You know, that's a pretty good deal, actually, come to think of it. Nah, I want to smooch you. Oh, big smooch. Uh, I got zero hearts towards the smooch, and I need three, and you gotta give me three. Not one, not two, three. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I got you. With my v verbal prose. I want to smooch. Don't say it again, creep. <laughs> and how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I'm wearing a funny mask. That might help. Also, I burnt my eyes out from staring at computer screens years ago. Nothing can penetrate this wall of brain fog and eye strain. Not a chance. Damn, she thick, though. I'm mad with lust. <laughs> Phrase I've never said in my life, nor will I ever say again. <laughs> Send me back. Yeah, that's an understandable response. Uh, but you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? That's really hot when you do that. I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Ah, oh, that sound that's not very cash money of you though, is it? I feel like you should do it now. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. <laughs> Fair. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this stupid book. The least you could do is ah, uh, buddy. <clears throat> As it is Valentine's Day, I think it's time for Foreman to throw down a little bit of a, a little bit of dating advice. Now, this may blow some of your minds, but if you find yourself in a, on a date, first of all, congratulations, I never thought you would. But, if you do find yourself there, always remember, never use words such as, I went through all the trouble of blank, the least you could do is blank. <laughs> never. Never, ever, ever. I don't know that from personal experience, so I was never stupid enough to be that kind of person. Where'd you get that book? Hello. I've bought it on the internet, except I didn't. It's not mine. Where did I get this book? Oh, what this? I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Ah. So more dark gods. Cool. Moo, who's that? Are they the one who left this funny looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's really pretty, I should hang it up. It's not a Necronomicon. Obviously. It's not? I mean, it's not. What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? Yeah. My Necronomicon would be bright pink. When I become a Necromancer and take over the world, my zombies will be pink, my banners will be pink, the Necronomicon will be pink. But I'll be wearing blue. I like blue. God, she's cute, but what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, then what is it? It's a survival guide. Yeah, I did notice that. It is a survival guide. Lynetta? Don't cover your ears. Keep lights on. For what? For dating me. Yeah. More girls could do with a survival guide for dating them, I think. Just throwing it out there. Actually, mostly guys, let's be real. What, really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Oh, good. Excellent. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Also, I might die from this. Because to unlock the next person, it said survive chapter one. Not beat. Survive. Protect my sanity. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension, so no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like about you. Gulp. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. Can hazard a guess? You'll, uh, let me smooch you. If you 
didn't make it to the end, darling. <laughs> we'll see about that. But if you chicken mm. out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Ah, cool, good, excellent, fantastic, lovely. End reality, not even just kill me. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Good. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? That is true. I did know this, and I did it anyway. I'm officially the most selfish man who has ever lived. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. And what's the plate in this metaphor? So if the world is going to end either way, you know, may as well. There's already like two cosmic eldritch entities in my Discord server. I have quite a lot of experience with this sort of thing. I think I'll be okay. Deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? That sounds nice. Also, why did I say deal? That implies I have any kind of choice. I'm going to die either way. Invoke the depths. That's the calling. Invoke the depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. And all is complete chant. Do not look out your window from now on. I may have fucked up already. Both. Nice. Nice. So, do not perform this ritual alone. Well, I'm not alone. I have a turtle and I have a hot fish lady. Uh, I have a turtle and her. Okay, so I'm not alone. Snuff all light from the room. But it says, and I quote, Never leave the lights off. Her name, her name, her name. So, the candles. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. In the dark... Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from, your, from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your lamp, and turn off your overhead lights. The red light candles need to stay on. We have the sound... I need you with me just in case. Do not look out your window from now on. Okay. I might be about to die. If I am about to die, um, the next Runa will be a, a, a video will be a week late. Snuff candles, but it told me not to do that. Okay, fine. I'm calling the deaths. No lights, but... They're not lit. There's no light! Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't turn it on. Or I did. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Nafel Fagton Ego Otrile. Nig yog Oh my fucking god, what do you mean? I did not turn the lights on. What is she- For god's sake, I didn't turn the lights on! They turned on by themselves. One more time. Nafel Fagton Uhigel Otrile. Nig yog Home sweet home, I suppose so. It's really fucking dark in here. I'm not supposed to leave the lights off. Wait, my name's Darling now? Oh, we- what did I just do? You brought the Outer Depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Ah. Our connection is stronger now. I feel so connected to you right now, definitely. That's definitely the emotion I feel. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. I feel like I'm just helping you destroy the world rather than actually getting that smooch, but whatever. Will I be okay? Just uh, focus on uh, following uh, the perfectly. 
You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? Uh, following the book perfectly. No, no, no. Wait, why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Not at all. Not at all. Go right ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. I think she'd kill me if I peeked. Okay. I mean it. Yeah. Don't peek. I'm not gonna. I promise. I won't. Mm -hmm. I promise. I won't peek. <laughs> You're sure you won't? I will not. And I'm not even doing LP funsies here. I will not peek. I will not peek. Positive. All right. I'll be back in a chippy. I can understand why my character would, though, because he's going to die anyway. But I said I wouldn't, so I won't. Marvelous. Turn a light on so I'm not dying. What's the next ritual? Abyssal mist. Ensure your single shower is running to make the sound of moving water. Then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help your electricity bill. Chant that. So go outside and chant. Go outside and chant. Don't look at the thingies. No, you said don't leave the lights off, so I ain't gonna. Okay. Yum. Jeez, looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Get it? Quiet hill. Get it? Contemporary game references, except not. Actually, no. There's been new Silent Hills announced, so that is contemporary. Contemporary game references, huh? Yeah, yeah. This is what you came here for. Yeah. Yeah. Is something moving out there? <gasps> oh. Darling, you didn't! I did! I didn't peek, I promised! I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. Do you want to go to Innsmouth? We can go to Innsmouth. We can go to Innsmouth right now. I hope you like fish, people. Apparently my character does. I didn't know you have a house on the water! Uh, I don't. I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean, what terrible power is this thing capable of? You knew what you were summoning, you idiot. <sighs> There's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. To be fair, that's not wrong. That's not wrong. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? I mean, I always do, but I heard about the fog monsters. It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. Oh, good. Would you protect me? After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Oh, could you help me with that then, please? Unspeakable horror, some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. That doesn't reassure me even slightly. All I have to do is chant. This one's easy. And unpleasant. Okay. I can't pronounce it. What the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce that, and I tried. <laughs> why it's an unspeakable horror. That's a good point. You know, when you put it that way, it actually makes a lot of sense. But that doesn't... That, that means I still can't do it. Unspeakable. Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Can you do it then? I'm kind of sick of doing all these rituals. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. I mean, you got the lips for it. Anything? Anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's Eldritch, not British. <laughs> to be fair, 
<laughs> it took me a really long time to learn to pronounce Worcester and Worcestershire sauce. It took me a very long time to learn how to pronounce that, but I got there. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Sweetheart, give it a try. Worcestershire sauce? I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. I'm very impressed. Damn, you are the real deal. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Also impressive. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. I fucking yeah. No, that's a hard one. All right, fair enough. Show off. Perform Eldritch Mouth. I need an Eldritch Mouth. This ritual will allow you to wear... Oh, to wear. This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual somewhere gore can be easily cleaned, like a bathroom where no robes or amulets have a ritual knife on your person. Okay. Oh, I have to go put that stuff back, don't I? Okay, go back inside. Wonderful. Good. Um, just quickly, I'm going to turn the lights back on. I know you prefer the lights off, but... So, no robes. Or amulets. I have an amulet on. I need to take it off. Gotta be honest with you. I... Oh, there we go. That's how. Okay, what else? So, I need the knife. I've got it. Do it in the bathroom. Have a ritual knife on your person. This seems simple and easy. So far. It didn't say turn the sink off, so I ain't turning the sink off. Alright. Alright, I'm ready. Eldritch mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. I don't know why you care when you're going to die anyway. And the world is going to end. You're literally in this for a kiss. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths. Brace yourself. Ah. Well, something's going to happen, isn't it? I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. Gotta love it. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. That's what I figured. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta. Yes? <laughs> Spooky. Yes? Ah, oh, you startled me with your bosoms. I did do that. I did do that. Uh... Who? Who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! Oh, it's my Eldritch mouth? She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa, hand holding on the first day, moving fast, but that's okay. I'm modern. No, look at your hand, silly. My hand has a mouth. My hand? My hand has a mouth. Cool. Oh, fuck. Uh, get it off. Ah, oh, it's gross. Look, just wrapped around in between two fingers there. Ah, oh, it's gross. Quick, grab that knife from the bedroom to cut it off. Hurry. Cut it off? But it's your hand now. See? Yeah, I don't want to cut off my hand. Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's very much embodied mouth indeed. Is this really my hands now? I hope it's not the right hand. Although, what did I do to my hand? Uh, Darling, are you alright? No. This is screwed up. I mean, I know I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? Yeah. But, uh, but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch, no matter what. I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. Uh, I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. Anything? Anything at all? Even the slightest silver lining? Ah, uh, now I have my pick of which mouth to use, uh, Smoocher! 
Oh. Darling. Apparently I'm not dealing with it well. Someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it, I even picked an apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Not with that attitude. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Hello? Are you in? <laughs> uh. I dare say. Crap, it's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world-bending spells I've been casting? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have been casting them. Who's that, darling? Um, no one. Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? I mean, you can if you want. No, 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 I mean, I, I really don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> nope. Why not? Because you're a tentacle-mouthed, bat-winged, eldritch horror. Well, you're a mind-flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be a bit too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. It is. Wait here, I'll be right back. Hmm. Gulp? Wait. I'm just answering the door now. I don't have. I, I'm. I, okay. I didn't prepare or anything. I didn't get. get all right. Cool. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Hello, ma'am. Why are you here? Missy, she's an old money rich, old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at, work at, and started showering me with gifts. Lots of gifts, like pink Necronomicons. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this Eldritch paraphernalia. So she's the patron, basically. I'm a warlock, she's the patron. Now I have two patrons. I actually have more than two patrons in real life. I never thought I'd get here. Shit's nuts. But best of all, she's smoking hot. So that's pretty cool. If I may be so bold, I... I mean, you already well, are. I have something special to give you. Um... May I come in? No. Nope. Not even for a second. Oh, God, yes. Oh, hell yes. Right this way. Mm, wait, Lynetta is inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot that the world is literally ending. So, whoops. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Do you think you can just give it to me out here? I mean, if it's a blowy, you know, we're on a balcony, so no one's going to see anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, it doesn't have to be indoors. I, I know it's a little more classy, but it's just a little bit of adventure, you know, live a little. Uh, it's no big deal. It's fine. Um, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Ah, it's a little bit risky. It's a little bit dangerous. I've done it outside before. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Story for another time. A present that has to be given in private. <laughs> oh man, what could it be? <laughs> Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Wow, this really is Catherine, isn't it? <laughs> Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Ah, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Why? Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Oh, okay. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. <laughs> yes, well, you see, um, there's uh, certain uh, forces beyond my control that currently prevent such a thing from occurring. Unfortunate, but it is the way of things. Darling, what's taking so long? I miss you. Fuck. <laughs> is Lynette coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. 
company over? That might have just been the thing we should have led with. Just like, sorry, someone's here at the moment. So, no secret blowies today. That's just the mailman. <laughs> Brilliant. Inside your apartment. I'm a very good host. Shoot, I got my lame excuses mixed up. <laughs> you only had one. How did you fuck that up? Oh boy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you stay out there and you stay out there. Someone slammed the door in my face. No one. I mean, I just did, so, hmm. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy, this is the only way I survived this. What's going on, darling? Nothing, I promise. Uh, it turns out I was one of those, uh, door-to-door -door salesmen. Yes. They can be real pushy, you know? Bollocks. <laughs> uh, no. uh, I don't want any. <laughs> uh, bollocks. Want me to make them go away? No, I really don't. No, 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 I got this. You just have to be persistent. Uh, eventually they give up. Hmm. Did she finally give up? Oh, everything's fine. She's about to kick in the door, I bet. I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy, like kicking the door in, for instance. That would be a problem. Especially now that she knows where I live. Two world-ending catastrophes know where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. I like how my character keeps acting like there's going to be a later when it's been confirmed that we're going to die. So, yeah. There's the unspeakable ritual. I don't know if I want to do that one, though. It don't look great. Is there another one? Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the depths. Metamorphosis, huh? Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Poster or tapestry. Okay, I appear to have done that. It is as dark as can be. I'm not going to summon the Eldritch... No. I'm not going to summon the Eldritch Horror. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. See and tell... Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. So I need that. I need that. I've got that. For a mask or headpiece. I've got the knife. I'm wearing everything I need, but it says, always remember the second step on the previous page, and it says, ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. But does my mask not invoke his image? When all is complete, chant, hop, hop, good. The thing, the big thing, I am the thing, which is ah. It appears to have worked. Hello, handsome. And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. It's working. It's working. It's working. I've noticed that the thing, the bus next to my computer, is now bleeding. So that's a thing. I mean, I don't like to flatter myself, but. Yeah, yeah. Glad you noticed. I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. My hand is a tentacle now as well. It's rather unfortunate. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me exactly? What, 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 what are we dealing with here? I got a tentacle hand. That's a little weird. She likes it. That's almost a little bit more weird, actually. Breakup. Darling, what are you looking at? Oh, I didn't know that was there. Nothing, huh? 
you were looking at? Nothing? I didn't know it was there! Is that the truth? Hmm. I didn't know it was there! I wouldn't have looked at it otherwise! <laughs> ah, fuck! Shit! <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Yes! Good. I know what page you were on. It's the next page! It's not my fault! And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing... I don't intend to! You won't get past the second word. I agree. I wasn't trying to. I promise. Oh, I needed to go past it to look at the next. Oh, I'm a tentacle now. I wasn't trying to break up. I wanted to prepare offering. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, read in here. Next page. Prepare offering. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure this symbol is present nearby and chant. Okay, I can do that. I checked it in there in case she was going to freak out at me. I will illuminate the room to my comfort. The room is... I like black lights. They're nice. I have items out of cold storage. Yes, I do. I need that symbol. Okay, I can do. Let me guess. This will- I'm the offering and this will kill me. Just putting it out there. That is the correct symbol. I have items from cold storage, yes. Time to chant! I made you food. That has gotten worse, I believe. All it needs is a little something, and it'll be perfect. Please don't eat my turtle. Please don't eat my turtle. I don't want- I, I'm not offering it. Hmm. Don't eat me, either. I swear. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Okay. All I need to do is the one more. Maybe. Hold on. Reach into oblivion. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Yes, it is. Okay. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a knife in your possession. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Have another life form on your person. Ah, oh, it's been good, froggy. But oh, froggy? It's not a frog at all, it's a turtle. It's been good, turtle, but I'm afraid you've got to go. Nothing personal. But, uh, I've been waiting for this for a real long time. There we go. Robe, knife, symbol, life form. Chance. Steak. Oh no. Oh boy. Something terrible is blocking the door. I don't know what to do. Uh, her name, her name, her name. Twitter appear I'm screwed. Twitter appear I'm screwed. Bad end. I suppose so. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I'm not even remotely sure what I was supposed to do. <laughs> ah. Two ratings achieved. Zero of two. Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. I mean, yeah. Uh, I am. I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. I suppose I did. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought. Huh, darling? No, I'm not. That was terrifying. <laughs> I almost quit the game on the spot. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, sweetie. Don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. It sure doesn't. I suppose it doesn't, does it? Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, 
It's still there. Oh, I bet. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Yeah, no, nothing will come for me now. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. Brilliant. We better smooch quickly then. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and... And you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. That would be nice, actually. I'd appreciate that. Don't hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. I would appreciate it very much if you just put me out of my misery. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Nah, I think I'd prefer to die. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. Mm-hmm. Perform Dark Communion. Why is this di Oh, boy. No. <laughs> to reach into oblivion was a bad shout. Escape reality. Do not attempt this ritual without performing prepare offering and reach into oblivion. I have done these, I but do I need to perform reach into oblivion first to do dark communion? Nothing is just your imagination. Alternatively, I could escape reality. Well, fuck it. Let's just see what happens, I suppose. No robe, no necklace, offering on person, which is there. Interesting. Let the room be well lit. It is, I believe, well lit. Off. Yep. That's on. Okay, good. Uh, no symbols required. Repair offering. Reach into oblivion. Okay. Okay, well, let's just see what happens then, shall we? Now for... Targan... Ah, delicious, just perfect. I wish you could make offerings like this forever. Well, you may have the power to allow me to do so. You know, if you keep me alive, don't kill me, don't make me go insane. Stop jump scaring me so that my blood pressure doesn't go through the roof again. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Oh yeah? Is this gonna end the world as well? I hope not. Please? Pledging yourself to me. Oh, easy. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Yep. I can pledge myself to those thighs. Why not? Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. Nice. And that'll get me a smooch. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. You know, that's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty cool. I get to be the last person who ever speaks. It's me. The privilege is yours alone. Fantastic. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Oh yeah, for sure. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Okay, we can do that. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? I suppose so. Thank you, my love. Huh. Welcome? Okay. Last ritual. Have ritual knife on your person. Chant five times to fill the heart. Okay, I can do that. Uh, Lynetta said a hip, a hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip, hip, poppy, a don't stop, a rock into the bang, bang, boogie, the dump, jump, the rhythm of the boogie of the rhythm of the bee. Lynetta, she sells seashells by the seashore, shore sells seashells, she sells. Lynetta, I don't have any clever or funny tongue twisters left to say, so we're just gonna go for it, nearly. 
Oh god, I forgot that there was another one, so I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, Nurgli. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. I don't think I'm gonna get that smooch. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Yeah, I had a feeling. That look on your face. <laughs> uh. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. Thank you, I appreciate it. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Well, at the very least, don't kill me. You know, we could just... You know, that'd be nice. Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, this is a bad dream. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? A fair point, I have to say. Your philosophy is sound. No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. True, true. I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. But what about the smooch? Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Ha ha! Buckler up, my darling. You've earned it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've doomed the world. For that ass. God damn. <laughs> Happy Valentine's, ladies and gentlemen. Civilization has collapsed. And I got what I wanted. Now. This is a pretty cool game. So if I was to load. And then I can go a different route, presumably. Where I attempt to, I don't know. Banisher or something. I'm not particularly invested in doing so. I did what I wanted to do, which was a stupid video for Valentine's Day, and I have done it. I'm not particularly invested in continuing to explore the game, because as I've mentioned before, I don't like horror games, and I know it's not properly a horror game, but there are enough horror elements that it really puts me on edge. <laughs> that bit where like all reality collapsed actually really spooked me. But that's fun. That's a fun little thing. I don't know. I've... <sighs> It's, uh, I feel like I should do more, but I think I'd prefer, I would be happier personally and myself if we just left it there. Plus, I don't want to milk it too much. It was what it was. We had a stupid experience. It's a silly game. It's a fun game. It's a well-written game. It's interesting, but it's silly. I'm not committing myself to it in any way, shape, or form. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to end for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. I got what I wanted. <laughs> Special thanks to Honey Doo, Sweet Baby Red, MB Alias, Ye Old Man River, Lord Scullington, Jessicity, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sir World, Jumping with Joy, Warmas Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thanks so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. So, presumably. Yeah, I unlocked another one. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, look. If demand was insanely high, I would consider it. But to be honest, I don't have any plans to do more of this in the future. I spent eight quid to have a silly Valentine's video. That's all I wanted. And that's all I intended to do with this. But if you enjoyed it, then I'm glad. If you're a little disappointed, then I'm sorry. But... It is what it is. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Where happens next time? Probably not this. Gotta be honest. Probably not this. Probably won't be this. It'll probably be literally anything else. It'll probably be Ruiner. Let's be real. And when I do do that, I hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.